In this video, we're going to learn the definition of what a pinch point is. So a pinch point is whenever you're using a, a saw and cutting through material. And what happens is, is the material is bending uh, downwards and causes the material to actually pinch the saw blade as you're cutting, and which will always cause the saw to violently kick back. And a lot of times it comes back across towards your other hand that you're holding your material with. So for an example, say you have your material here on the saw horses, and it seems safe, right? You got your material up in the air and you're about to make your cut. But if you have your cut point in the center of these saw of these saw horses, or even if you're cutting on the ground and you put a block on the floor on each side of your material and you go to cut through the center of that, again, and it's the exact same concept as this, where the pinch point is causing the material to push downwards and pinch the saw blade, which causes it to kick back towards your hands. And a lot of very dangerous and severe injuries to your hands happen this way. I'm just going to show you, uh, of course, I'll go really slow and make sure that uh, I'm doing it safely. So, but just for the video that you can see. So what you would instead want to do is always have your cut point hanging off of uh, the saw horses so that it can just freely drop to the floor. Now, the same concept will happen if you're cutting a material where the saw blade is even cutting uh, halfway through it. So say that you're cutting through a four x four post or even something even thicker where the saw blade isn't cutting all the way through, uh, it'll still cause the pinch point. And the reason for this is that uh, as you're cutting through near the end of your cut, your material is now weak and it'll flex downwards and cause the material to still pinch that saw blade and again, causing it to kick back. So just always move your material to the end uh, so that your cut line is hanging off, off of uh, your saw horses or that anywhere where it's just gonna freely drop to the floor, just like this. take the material that you just cut and know that you're cutting safely where you will never cause that saw to, pit to uh, kick back. And I notice a lot of new workers in carpentry uh, don't know this concept and uh, so it's really up to you to learn what causes a saw to kick back or for your supervisor to actually show you on your first day um, what causes a saw to kick back because so many times where we have new guys and before I can get to them to teach them how what causes a saw to kick back they're already trying to cut material just like this, but in the center of these sawhorses. And the moment you hear that kickback noise, you just uh, look over immediately and just hope that nothing happened. So it's always important to learn what causes a saw to kick back. And for anybody at home, um, the same, same thing. Always learn the safety of the tools before using them, because these are very powerful tools and so many accidents happen every single day because of these power tools.